This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, the first video in a series looking at the methods of creating and optimizing damage on ground targets. Today, we'll be looking at splash damage from conventional warhead munitions. This came from you guys asking me lots and lots of questions about, for instance, which rockets are best to use against certain vehicles? Which angle should I shoot the rockets at? Which type of gun ammo should I use against certain types of vehicles? Which type of bomb should I use against certain vehicles? What warhead size will kill a certain vehicle at a certain distance? And so on. Now, this is not something I can easily answer because A, it needs testing out scientifically. B, there are many, many options. For instance, there are all different types of armor to consider, all different types of munitions, altitude, speeds, all the different kinematics that we need considering. So what we're doing is blocking it into about five or six videos. Like I said, this one is assessing in DCS World, January 2021, how conventional warhead bombs damage certain vehicles in terms of splash damage. Now you drop a bomb right on the head of a vehicle, it will blow up even if it's the biggest tank out there. But unless you've got laser guided bombs, it's very unlikely, even with, for instance, a GPS INS guided weapon, you'll actually hit them. Much more likely you'll hit just near them, a few feet or a few tens of feet. And so it's important that we find out what kind of splash damage we can inflict on the vehicles. We're splitting the vehicles into four. The first field type will be unarmored. It's a Humvee. I know they have a little bit of armor, but it's against small arms only, as far as I'm aware. Anything from half inch BMG upwards, I believe they are susceptible, and hence they have essentially no armor against against large high explosive warheads. Next is light armor and these guys here we're using and the APC and we've chosen the M113 yes it's a good example. Next is the IFE the infantry fighting vehicle we've chosen a classic Bradley here M2 A2 Bradley and it has armor that can stop a small cannon so much better armor and then of course we have the MBT in the form of the M1A2 a typical tank and this is as heavy as vehicle armor we can have so this includes all the four standards of armor that we're going to see modeled in DCS at the moment. Now for this to be any use to you we have to do it scientifically and empirically. So each of these bases are identical. At the very center of each base is a flag marker to say where the bomb needs to be dropped. Around that are vehicles placed at strategic points. 50 feet, 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet and that's mirrored there and there. I just realized I've missed one. And note they are at different aspects because as well as the distance from the blast, we want to see if the aspect of the armor, i.e. front armor, rear armor, and side armor makes any difference. It's highly unlikely that it will. I mean, it does in terms of ballistic munitions like bullets and stuff. That does make a difference. But in terms of blast, DCS, I'm going to guess not, but we'll see. And we've also got a 25-foot one there. The reason I'm not put 25 foot there, there and there is because a vehicle exploding from a blast can actually destroy a vehicle next to it from its own blast. So we want to keep each vehicle at least 50 feet away from each other so they don't interact with each other. So that covers just about everything. 50 feet intervals with three different aspects and a close 25 foot uh, just to see what happens there. The same is repeated exactly with all of the other vehicles. So we've got light armor here and so on. In terms of munitions, there are two ways we could have done this. One is we could have set up basic mission editors to scripting so that a an explosion would happen exactly here and exactly set time. That's the most empirical way of doing it. However, there's no real way of checking that just a basic TNT or high explosive explosion will be the same model, the same as a blast frag from a typical bomb like a GBU-12. So I'd rather not take the chance. So to keep it as scientific as possible, we're going to use a laser guided bomb that can be within two feet accuracy in DCS world, which is about the size of that tire. And I think that's as accurate as we're ever going to need to get. We'll drop the bomb from our RC will drop the bombs from an A10C. The main reason we're doing this one first is because you guys have been complaining that DCS doesn't do splash damage properly, quote unquote. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know a single thing about blast frag conventional warhead. I mean, my understanding is that it would damage a thing by A, a blast pressure wave, and B, by fragmentations of its own casing. Now, personally, I don't see why this would do any damage to a moderately armoured vehicle because the frag parts, although moving very fast, will unlikely be armour piercing in any way. And B, I just don't really see why a blast pressure wave would damage an armoured vehicle. However, I am the layman and I don't really have a clue. So you guys let me know what you think of the results. 
there's one thing I should say as well. You valid viewers are thinking, oh, this one's hidden behind that one. So, you know, bug splatter effect. This one won't get any effect. What we've done is we've actually already tested to make sure there is no shadowing of damage from explosions. And I can confirm there isn't. If you really want, I can link the video where we test it. So don't worry, this one will get damaged even if this guy, you know, even if I put a great big SA-10 in the way, this will still get damaged because, you know, it's just pointless modeling that really we'll start with the gbu12 which is a 500 pound bomb now remember that's not 500 pounds of tnt or whatever that's a 500 pound bomb half of which is the casing and the penetrator and the fuse and whatnot it's only about 240 pounds of high explosive i think roughly the high explosive is usually about half of that weight or something i've learned we'll also be using a gbu10 which is a 2000 pound gross i believe and roughly about a thousand pounds of actual explosive chemical place your bets now please and stand by but before we start dropping bombs on things so we've got this lovely document here found by oz from the stream an overview of high explosive blast damage mechanisms and vulnerability prediction methods sounds a bit nerdy and it is 1997 essentially what they've kind of done is put high explosive next to things aeroplanes and tanks and armor and stuff and seen what actual damage the blast just the blast wave does it's really interesting i'm not going to go and read through it now because it's complex and it would take hours to read through but i will link it so you guys can go and uh, read that if you want like just, I mean, the first thing I picked up there is blast kill radius method. You know, this is exactly what we're looking at at the moment. So we're in now. RC is going to be dropping his bombs. He's just figuring himself out. The way we're going to do it is what we'll show you now is the fun explosive bit. And we'll let that run. And then what we're going to do afterwards is go back and look in the track file to actually look at the kind of empirical damage. So fun bit now. And then we'll do the results summary at the end. We'll do the Humvees first, valued viewers. All right. Bomber Thanks. away. Oh, yeah, whatever the word is. It won't. It had not started blazing yet. Now it go. should. Right, let's check this accuracy out. Should be right. It should be, it. it should be. We've done some testing and it should be perfect. And boom! Okay, what they're going to do now is move around and cause subsequent explosions. And we'll cut that out of the uh, data, so don't worry too much about that. I'm a little bit disappointed I'll see it blew one up. And that's the one next it's to it. Black tire destroyed and one Humvee destroyed on my. I must admit, I thought that was going to take all of them out. I, uh, that's two forty pounds of, you know, equivalent of TNT. You know, high explosive. Right. However, like I said, I don't know really know anything about it. Okay, I'll see. Next, can you please go for the M one one threes? Those are the APCs just south. Three, two, one. Boom. Amazing. Yes. Come on, let's get some accuracy, your mother. Oh yeah, it's right. It's gonna hit right in the center of that tire. Oh, sexy. I don't think many things in life are sexy, but that. Again, not much damage. Oh my god, nothing was... Maybe they're right, maybe there is a problem with uh, splash damage. Splash? Look at... Oh, there is, yeah. Nothing was nothing was damaged, apart from the guy that was on it. How interesting. So what we're going to do is compare that to what it said in the real-life experiment. The yeah. interessant. Okay, round you go. Now you're going for the southernmost. And by the looks of things, we're just not going to do any damage. By the way, we've just had to chat in the stream about fusing nose nose and tail tail and or delay we're using no delay and we're using nose and tail okay baby let's blow some more stuff up and come on baby catch 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 baby catch terminal uh boom perfectly accurate and stand by no you know what no damage yeah yeah oh, oh yeah. sorry the 25 feet one dies Weird, i mean right? technically that is and legit that's, right good. well I, I don't know i'm i'm gonna first one to say it. i don't know but yeah. i mean in terms of like the bomb killed that one it wasn't just yes no it's 100 percent killed it. It, it it's just weird it didn't do any damage to the others it, i just found it Right. A little bit strange, but... Right, last one to the north, main battle okay. tanks. Right, your predictions now, valued viewers. Ten seconds, though, it lasers after the dropper, so... Lazy. Terminal. Right on the money, that will be. Are we going to kill any? So accurate. It's just great how accurate it is. I can see it go in the middle of that tyre. Yeah. Right, well, that's interesting. We did... Exactly. Zero damage, even to the um, 25 footer. I mean, it, literally, it's sitting in the middle of the crater. Zero damage. 
Again, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to say, ah, idiot, but it wrongs. I just don't know. But that's the science as it is at the moment. Okay. Now I'd like to reset this server RC and we're going to do exactly the same for a £2,000 okay. GBU. Right, £2,000 bomb of doom. These Humvees. Are, if this kills just one Humvee, I'm swearing I'm going to kick up a stink. Because this was the bomb that the oh, Tomcat dropped. Yeah, it's gone. This is the bomb that the Tomcat dropped on the 2004 on John Simmons' crew. Then again, they were just like technicals and stuff. Right, where's my button to go to it? Uh, uh, uh. And wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! Oh, that was a lot of. Oh, I missed the explosion. I'm so sorry, everyone. You did? I missed the explosion, yeah. Okay, obviously, lots of damage was done. I apologize. Uh, uh, we were going to analyse that properly in uh, in the uh, in the thing afterwards. Okay, well it did lots of boom boom. It did. And all oh, the the kind of following cook offs happening now. Well, it did a lot of damage. We'll see exactly in the debrief how much it did. Okay, I'll see. Go for the one one threes, please. I'm quite romantic about these bombs dropping. Right, I'm gonna make sure I got my camera in place, and I have <laughs> no errors for me. It's gonna be right in the middle. Boom! So accurate. Three, it says. Well, I think you've actually killed more than that. Three plus the tire. Three plus the tire. Hang on, you got you've done one, two, three. You actually got four. It's probably not. It uh, hasn't probably exploded yet. Roger. Very good. I mean, realistic, no idea at all. Uh, right, uh, Bradley's, please. Do not want to be on the end of that, baby. Oh, you wouldn't. Oh, the crate is bigger. That's good. Oh! Uh, Initially, it says one destroyed. No, there, there's lots more. There's others smoking up. Yeah, well done. Right, go around for the MBTs, please. Might take one out. It's crazy. Yeah, bomb. Know. Boom. No. Uh, yeah, you got one. You did get one. It's just not right up there. Is it just one smoking? It's one damage and nothing else damage. Okay. Uh, one, sorry, one blown up and nothing else damaged. Right. Um, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do now, valued viewers, that's the that's the data collected. I'm gonna go and analyze the data in a track file. I'm just gonna get better data from that. Uh, and then we'll talk about the summary. Stand by. Okay, valued viewers, welcome to the data. Sorry for the bad presentation, but it gets the data across. So on this side, effect with very accurate, you know, essentially perfectly accurate GBU-12, GBU-10, so 500 pound bomb, 2000 pound bomb, roughly about half of that is your high explosive chemical. What we've got here is HAMA, APC, IFV, MBT, and the same there. So, oh, first thing to say, we intended to go back and capture these images in the track file just as the main blast went. Now, by pure, weird, one in a million type fluke, both, all of those track files were corrupted. <laughs> well, they were there, but the vehicles didn't appear. So, no idea why. Nothing we can do about it. It's, that's just life. So, instead, what we did is I took these photos from the video uh, that, that you just saw. Uh, hence, some of them have moved, and there may, may even be some slight cook-off damage, but I've, we've done the best we can. Uh, and we're pretty sure it's accurate as well. So, GBU-12, Hummers, 25 feet fatal. It's just atomized. It's gone. You know, it's just a burning husk. 50 feet incapacitated, which means that they've been moved into red health, as you can see there, and they can no longer move or fire or, or anything like that as far as I'm aware and all aspects were about the same we couldn't see any real difference between aspects that made any sense uh, 100 feet no effect all aspects 150 200 feet no effect all aspect APC what we would consider light armor in DCS 25 feet fatal obliterated 50 feet and obviously I should say if this is zero feet everything to here just dies including a battle tank uh, 50 feet and we're working obviously in 25 and then 50 feet uh, iterations. 50 feet, no effect, all aspects, and further on, no. And this is probably the weirdest one for me. So for a 500 pound GBU 12, we've got literally no effect at 50 feet at any aspect. Now in my view, at 50 feet, yeah, that will kind of pick it up and throw it over and damage all the occupants, I think. But hey, I may be wrong. You guys, you guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, or add any data. You've got IFV, the Bradleys in this case, 25 feet is fatal. Uh, completely obliterates it again 50 feet onwards no damage for any aspects at all let me know what you think next main battle tank for a gbu 12 zero feet kills it 25 feet or above no effect 
and that was side aspect so that would get what we think would be the most vulnerable anyway so basically a main battle tank if you want to kill it this is where the gbu 38s don't work very well because they are plus or minus i think 30 feet roughly in dts about the same in real life ish i can't remember exactly just because they're not that accurate and the closer you are to the target the more accurate you can get them uh, and they just don't kill uh armor very well because you've got as you can see you've got to get well within 25 feet you basically got to hit the tank pretty much so that's how it is uh, so no effect at all next gbu 10 obviously more damage so hummers although they're spread out the damage is actually pretty good and uniform 25 feet is fatal 50 feet is fatal 100 feet incapacitated so red 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 all aspects were the same as far as we can see 150 feet from epicenter light damage him and him for the side and rear aspect but the front aspect caught no damage so that may either be a fluke a roll of dice or you've got some aspect model there let me know what you think 200 feet no effect all aspect uh, apc 525 feet and 50 feet fatal 100 feet uh, no damage and all aspects plus ifv 25 feet fatal 50 feet fatal, uh, fatal for front and rear aspects but weirdly no damage to the side aspect at 50 feet can't explain that you just have to don't know i don't know what to say about that there you go 100 feet onward no effect and finally main battle tanks 25 feet fatal and an onward no effect so 50 feet from a main battle tank no damage from a gbu uh, 10 let me know what you think that's the data there any thoughts from rc before we sign off uh the only thing i have to say is it's been a while we've you know, we've known splash damage isn't well modeled DCS so Marjorie. hopefully we'll see changes with that. Well there's your data let me know what you think and see you later